this has nothing to do with men, right? Okay. Yeah. Animal suffering in the wild, in which there are billions of animals who are suffering from starvation, they're suffering from accidents, yeah. they have terrible yeah. illnesses, they get cancer and all sorts of different illnesses just like we do. Yeah. And the creator created all of that. That's a terrible thing. What the hell was he thinking? What a terrible creation. Yes, go, go for ahead. it. Okay. Now you mentioned that that because of all of these things are suffering, and that's why what the creator was doing. Now the question is, do you think that even this creation who exists on Earth, they're gonna be living for a limited period of time? Since they're gonna be limited, having a limited period of time on this Earth, they're gonna die eventually, whether with this disease or being eaten by other predators or doing something like that. So they're gonna be eventually. Otherwise, just think about reproduction, no, no dying, reproduction, no dying. There will be like there will be no the, the earth doesn't have the capacity to do that at the end of the day they're going to be eventually finish it, finishing on this earth yeah. and they will be the justice, the justice will be implemented by even our prophet peace be upon him he said in the day of resurrection and even if there is two justice what what for the for for a, 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 the gazelle yeah. who breaks its leg and then it suffers yes. in pain for weeks on end. So, justice? What are you talking yeah. about? So that's what about justice for the for the lion, the, the, for the for the zebra exactly. that gets exactly. torn apart by the lion? Exactly. Justice? Yes. Justice for the for the for the, for the trillions of animals yes. that starve from the birds that fly around. They can't find enough food and exactly. die of starvation. Yes. Why did God yes. create all those people? Oh. And why did God create the world like that? No, for yes. what? Okay. In fact, yes. why? Why did God create this whole place in the first place with all this suffering? For what? Well, did, he, did he have nothing better to do? Couldn't he find something else to do than create this madhouse? And you worship the creator of all this suffering? You the worship day, the creator of child not, abuse? Not, you worship the creator of... What of, do you mean child abuse? What do you mean child abuse? Child abuse. What do you mean the creator of child abuse? Child abuse. There's child abuse going on in yeah, the world. So what, and the creator really allows angry? it to happen. So why are you angry? Allows it to happen. Why are you angry then? What's that? Why are you angry? I'm angry because... Uh, because of what the what creator mean, has created. The, the, I'm no, angry about yeah, the suffering okay. one, one, and the one, one, illness one, one, and, the, one, and the abuse and the poverty and the unfairness and the injustice and the animals who are suffering in the wild and the animals who are in factory farm. You probably, you lot probably eat meat. Can you I, you allow I, and you, so can you're, can I say you're part can of the I say process of factory can farming. I say can I say something to you? Sure. Is it's it's exam now. What? What's it's okay, it's okay. Oh, give me the exam. Tell me, are the birds that are having an exam? Are they having an exam as well? Can I ask you no, a question? There must be if, you see, if you see a gazelle that broke its leg, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Probably not very much. Probably. I'm asking you, what are you going to do? I don't know. If I can help, I might help it. So if you help yeah. that gazelle yeah. who is suffering, yeah. that our God told us, if you are participating in helping a poor yeah. gazelle who is dying yeah. or who is suffering, whatever, and you yeah. help you help them, yeah. you, are, you are getting a reward. And our prophet, oh. peace be upon him, told us that there is a prostitute woman who entered paradise. Why? Because she went and gave drink to a dog which was suffering the need to out of thirsty. So it did this. So that's why these are the good things that come from us. This is what, this is what God wants from us. But what about all Child the animals? Sympathy. What about the trillions of animals that don't encounter anybody to help them? There are trillions in the wild, there are animals who are suffering for no reason. Okay. And let me, God created let me, let me, your God. Let me you understand worship some Let me understand something. Yeah. Do you eat to survive? Yes. What do you eat? Food. 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 What yeah. kind of food do you uh, eat? Well, I'm, I'm vegan, so I don't eat anything that's come so back. Do you, like like you kill trees to eat. Do you? Yeah. Yes, so, I do. So, yeah. so, so you, you actually kill a living thing, yes. like a tree? Yes. And yes. Does, does that tree suffer? Yes. No, yeah, I mean, it might do. It might no, do. Exactly. It might do. It does suffer. Well, if it does, then I would say to you again, that's more reason not no, to no, no, worship no. the creator of why? all the shit. No, no, why no. do you Why do you make it suffer yourself? Why do I make it suffer? Because, because you, you are in control. Way. No, no, no. You, you are in control because you understand suffering of the trees, the plants. So you should stop eating plants really should i okay because you believe you what, they're suffering you can't answer my question no i am answering instead, instead of answering my I'm question not, you come up with some stupid argument but i should stop there? eating trees so, so you, you call that stop eating tree yes, products what trees one second because i'm killing them and causing so, them harm so you're saying answer my question look at look at why me. are you worshiping I'm, the creator I'm, of relax. bone cancer relax just answer that relax just relax no relax firstly firstly and in 
individual like yourself yeah. who seems to be very concerned about suffering yes and yet you may and uh, yet right, himself uh, listen okay, right, right. listen no, listen I've, I've, I've heard it all inconsistent that's, is that the best you can do no no okay. you're very inc inconsistent very inconsistent so very you are very concerned about suffering and you cause suffering yourself the first thing you should have done is stop suffering other things by your own hands by your own mouth or your own stomach and then have a discussion and talk and, and he so thinks, do you, do you want to just and he, and he is in a, and he thinks he's self in a position to criticize the creator to criticize the wisdom behind the things and he thinks he has a bit of idea about it where he himself involved in all of this you know you could say nonsense he himself and that shows Mansoor, the vagueness Summarize on that one. Yeah, yeah. How would you respond to people? So you have an individual who came here to talk about like how can you believe and worship a God who allows all this suffering in place? Firstly, when we turn, before you even justify whether this question is something that is you know a reasonable question and a reasonable you know point to even answer, this individual firstly has to have a consistent approach to suffering. If you believe suffering is wrong. First and foremost, he should stop making others suffer. And that is the plants. The plants are suffering. If he's ill, do you know what he's going to do? He's going to take medicine, antibiotics, and he's going to kill thousands and millions of other living organisms, yeah. other living organisms, bacteria, and so on and so forth. Now, then he will say like, oh, but they're not sentient. So now you are actually differentiated life, which is sentient life, which is not. At the end of the day, you don't care about life. You only care about some special kind of life, which is sentient. That's why whenever you have a differentiation of life, then you are making a distinction between what is allowed to be made into suffering or not. Okay. So if you have this standpoint, then you will realize that in Islam, we differentiate between what is a suffering and what is not suffering. For example, God has made us a law in terms which we have to sustain ourselves by eating. So that means we will have to eat from the foods that he has created. If God has created animals for our food, not for our enjoyment from like, you know, sports like people do, like the princess go and fox hunting and so on. Yes. That is not acceptable in Islam. We don't make animals suffer. Uh, but including cutting trees, even cutting trees yeah. without trees and that's not permissible in Islam. Even cutting yeah. trees, like yeah. a tree, even in a war, in a war welfare, that our Prophet peace be upon him prohibited to us even to cut a tree to that extent. Mm -hmm. Meaning that we need to understand as well that even if we want to cut a tree, then it has to be for a reason, either for eating or for something or for utilize whatever. Otherwise, not for the pleasure, not exactly. for the exactly. cut the trees. That includes, that respect the living things as well. Exactly. Us. So we believe God has created this world not as paradise. He has created paradise elsewhere. This world, this earth is not paradise. If you want absolute enjoyment and no suffering, no pain, no evil, as you say, then this is what will happen if you make it there, which is called Jannah or paradise, that God created that already. So if you are asking for why didn't God create paradise here, because you are created for a reason. And that's where the wisdom of God comes in. God has, in his wisdom, created us for a reason in which there is going to be this dichotomy, this, this you know, uh, understanding of between two opposite things in which we appreciate and live our life to fulfill the purpose of our life. If we are going to be someone who has given free will, free will automatically entails that some people will choose the free will and apply it wrongly and do things which are not right and not good and they will commit mischief and commit problems in this world for example if god says for example don't kill some people say i'm not going to listen to you i'm going to go and kill you are inflicting harm and suffering on others because of your free will if god were to say no i'm going to put a hold and stop of your free choice that means you won't be able to do anything you're like a robot then there's no point in creating you as a robot but the fact that you had this faculty of choice that means the potentiality of sin is there in which there will be suffering and so on because of the fact that you are like this but god doesn't want us to commit mischief on this world exactly. god doesn't want us to create problems in this world he wants us to live in peace and harmony justice and tranquility and he told us not to follow these steps in which people will be suffering all yeah. the elements is there so the the wisdom behind all of this is because of the purpose of our creation because god is not only he's the source of all good but he's wise
He's the protector. He's the sustainer. Yeah. He's the one who has so many other attributes in which all of it holistically explains the reason why this world is not paradise. It's not Jannah. It's not heaven. Also, there is adding to this. Allah says in the Quran, ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ عَيْتِ النَّاسِ That the corruption is appears, appears on earth from what the peoples earn, what they have done. So when he was talking about the animals, for example, that most of this corruption, most of these diseases that happens to the animals and the problem is because we there is big factor that we have, we participate in this. Yeah. We participate in many of the diseases, even the cancer and the other things for the animals. It is we participate because of us, we wanted to create he himself, he, he was wearing a jacket, for example, correct? This jacket came from a factory. That factory, of course, they have consumed fuel and other things, which is they will, they will cause pollution and it caused things. So each one, any one of us, we're not immune from participating in this. The point is what I'm saying here. We have that during the Islamic, for example, era, during the time when the Muslims, they were, they were leaders in, 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 on, in, in this earth, on this earth. The Muslims used to be as well considerate about even if they wanted to create a factory, they would be considerate about the, the trees, about the, the about the, the creatures and the living things. Because otherwise, we don't want to cause corruption. We don't want to transgress even against creation of Allah. So that's a key thing. So nowadays, with, with all of these factors, with all of these things, the pollution is more, and that the diseases will be spread, not just only in human beings, and as well in animals, and the other things. So that's why part we play a big role on this so if we wanted to implement islam properly then it, all of these things we have to try to, uh, to try to to stop spreading corruption and spreading the pollution and spreading the diseases even amongst the amongst the animals and we have to make and we have as a human being all of us we have to participate in order to stop this corruption and to stop this pollution because at the end of the day the consequence is not just only on us as a human being as well the consequence on the on the creation and the other creatures as exactly. well. Yeah, and to understand the reason why there is so-called suffering and evil in this world, it says that this is deliberately made in this world in which the world that you can fulfill your purpose. How else would you know and grow spiritually and develop yourself in terms of like be courageous, be someone helpful, be kind and be you know generous and so on and so forth? Because there would have to be a need for it. Imagine everyone there was no need for it. Would you be able to give someone charity and show the kindness and generosity because there's no one to show generosity to because everyone has everything they need. But the fact of the world, the world is such that you have this ability to grow and develop yourself by this kind of, you know, deficiencies here and there because God did not create human beings in such a way that you think that's it. Human being is totally self-sufficient. No, we're not. We need, we need companionship. We need to grow and develop. We need to have knowledge and so on. So the act of mercy, the act of kindness, the act of jersey, being uh, justice and being lenient, so on and so forth. That shows that there will be, well, of course, elements in which people will be committing something that they're not supposed to commit. For example, someone's being so greedy and you say, no, don't be greedy, you know? be generous instead. Because these elements, these kind of human um, uh, traits and characteristics is part of how we are created. We are not created because God is someone who created us imperfect. We are created fit for purpose. Yes. That's what the mistake people make. People think, oh, a perfect God should have created a perfect human being who doesn't commit any errors, any mistakes, any wrongdoings whatsoever. In, in a but perfect environment. In, in a, a perfect situation. environment. In a, there is no difference. But I just want to segue one, one important thing. I don't know if you noticed when that guy was talking, yeah. it was everything he was saying. I and I find this offensive. I found this. It was as if the whole world revolves around this I. Yeah. You know, this human ego, this human understanding that everything has to be, be the way, I you know, like myself. you said, perfect. I and me and myself. Yeah, so this perfection, <laughs> me and my perfection relative to me, not anybody else, not anybody else, it's only me. So this me, 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 about humanity, about human, this is kind of quite, I think, common amongst men that and women. That they want everything to be perfect according to them, relative, relative to them. But what does Allah say in the Quran? Why did he create us? Yes, so it's for his worship. And what does that entail? That everything has to be in accordance to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Remember in the Quran, Allah asked the people on the day of judgment, like how, how long were you there on earth? Yes, will they remember? 
Will they remember any of these things which they think are significant to them in this world? No, they will not. In fact, they respond to Allah saying that we live less than a day or even, sorry, uh, half a day or even less than that. Yeah. Yes. So this is how significant this world and everything in it is on the day of judgment, even to themselves when they find out the reality of it. Okay. And that's the reason we have to go back to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, what pleases him rather than what pleases us. Because every single person out there, if you ask them, they'll give you a different answer as to what is pleasing to them. So how many people are we going to satisfy? Yes, but all we have to do is satisfy one and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then everything falls in True. place nicely. Because the significance of this world is insignificant in the eyes of Allah. True. It is not even a dot. If you go up in the cosmos, even in a spaceship that could travel quite far, when you see the earth, it is becomes really insignificant even from our relative point of view right. of how far can you imagine how small it is in the eyes like, like for Allah. example in like for example imperfect environment imperfect like even you know the earth on system and everything yeah. an imperfect creation which is us yeah as a human being we're imperfect yeah and what god wants from us people who are imperfect living in an imperfect system they strive their best and they struggle to become perfect to the best of their ability. This is what Allah wants from us. Allah, of course, we never become become, become perfect at all. He didn't but, expect us to. But what perfect. Allah wants from us within the system which is imperfect around us, within that us, us, we as human beings, we are, we, are, we are imperfect. And yet we strive and struggle in order to become as perfect as we can by following the commandments of Allah and the path and way of the prophets and messengers of Allah. That's what Allah wants from us. And, and that is success. He, and that's that the success. success. And that's why when I set in the example, what you're going to do if you see a suffering, you know, you know, you try to help, you try to participate. This is what Allah wants from us. When we see this, Unfortunately, do this. vegans, you know, if, it, if they go someplace like where it snows heavily all the time and all the animals in that region are already moved away or they died because of the cold, they will have to somehow hunt for animals because the plants won't be there in this kind of weather. So they will have to hunt animals. No, not just that, well. not yeah. just that. If they leave the system nowadays, yeah. now the vegan, according to their own concept, if you leave, if you don't kill no animal, mm. think about it. If there is no killing of animal at all, yeah. what's going to happen? It's going to upset the system. The is system is going to corrupt. Absolutely, yeah. Th that's how it is. If you leave it, it's going to be too much to the extent you have to participate in order to stop it. Yeah. That's what happened for the rabbit in Australia. That's what they have done. It's become, it's the become a disease. Will be Otherwise, it's going to be... Uh, and then they have to introduce things. So we have, they ask, these are the, the system. Yeah. So when the, when the people involved, things happen so they try their best as well to stop it yeah. they themselves they have to participate to stop to kill animals to set an amount of animal in order for the other people to the other things to survive and allah told us not to kill everything to kill it for a yeah, purpose absolutely. we when you do you do it for a purpose you, you slaughter for a purpose to eat and as well to survive it's a, that's a purpose of, behind yeah. it otherwise we're not just only just the, to have fun about it the great thing the injustice that these um individuals a group of people do is they don't think about the bigger picture, okay? They, they're just going with just the pixels yes. and not looking at the whole picture of why we're here. And they even question the existence of God. I mean, why do you, in fact, their ideology is driving them not to worship God or not to believe in a God in the first place. But look at wait, well, how this is totally unjustifiable. They think there shouldn't be any suffering. That means if there is a good God, there will be no suffering, right? If you ask them, okay, suppose, you live in a world in which there is no suffering whatsoever. Would that automatically mean God exists? I've spoken to many of them. Yeah. No, would you automatically believe God exists if there was no suffering? They would you, even, no. would you, you even value the good? Because you don't see yeah. suffering, so because you don't value it. For them, the argument is, because there's suffering and evil, God doesn't exist. So, okay, fine. What about the opposite? If you see no suffering whatsoever, you know, hypothetically, for example, no suffering, would that automatically mean there's God, God exists? They will say no. That means suffering has nothing to do with it. God existence. You see? This is where it becomes so inconsistent, so, you know, unreasonable in their approach. Because if you say suffering means no God, yeah, yeah, yeah. no suffering should mean God. But if you don't accept that argument, then don't bring the argument of suffering in the first place. It has nothing to do with the existence of God. You're simply simply just saying, oh, because of a good God would have no suffering. But God is not only good, he's wise. And he has so many other attributes, you know, which which comes into play on creating the universe. God have created, God could have created a world in which 
Yeah. He puts people directly into paradise, right? He could have done that yeah. easily. It's like a teacher, you know? Yeah, but then Passing people will say, I mean, no, <laughs> no, you gave us a free will and you put us straight into paradise. <laughs> you know, do we deserve to come here? Because, you know, I could have disobeyed you. Yeah. How would yeah. people even appreciate? Like the faculty of intellect they had, the faculty of choice they had. Without, like, without darkness, with, you cannot appreciate the light. Exactly. Without the suffering, without of all of these yeah. things that's happening around us, we cannot appreciate about looking forward for the perfect world that God has promised us in the Quran, which is Jannah al Firdaus. This is what we, all of us we are yeah. looking for. And the other thing is, why do they only look at the suffering? What were the good things that happen in the world? Yes? Yeah. Why don't they say, okay, okay, the suffering is because of God? then the same people, if they're consistent, they say the good things is also because of God. Yes. But no, they would only focus on the bad things, the suffering, because you know, I think many of these guys down underneath, they have some other psychological issues, other problems in their life. And this is, I think, how they retaliate. They blame, they need someone to blame, you know? Yeah. They it's need a blame man. For them, this is God. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is how they see the world. Like I said, it comes down to them their individuality, you know, they think the world revolves around them and yeah. everything has to be in accordance to how they see the world, yeah. how yeah. they see it. And we don't believe that there's a, the absolute evil there. This is all relative evil. For example, if imagine there was no pain receptors in our body, you know, you could have had your hand burnt in the fire and you not known that your hand's totally burnt yeah. off, right? The fact that, you know, when you touch fire, you feel pain, it's a good thing to have that pain. Yes. Or a toothache is a better example. You know, yeah. If you didn't have a toothache, your you don't teeth might decay. The <laughs> you might just decay and fall one day and you say, oh, where are my teeth gone? <laughs> exactly. So but when it pains, you do something about it. You try to yeah. rectify that. You so you can to, see that, kind of, yes. that, that suffering that you're going through is actually a good thing for you. Yes. Um, not, it's not a bad thing. So this is a... And to appreciate your health. And as well, even going through diseases, going through illnesses and all, you appreciate. Now people, subhanAllah, even during the COVID, yeah, people now appreciate the time that uh, during COVID when we, are, when we have this, you know, for example, that the social distancing, we are not able to travel. It's all of these things, yeah? Now, now we appreciate what happened now. We appreciate what we have. So when God took it, at least at certain point, these things, what happened to us. When your freedom now, was taken away. Now, now at least now we know what's happening. The same thing, people who were ill, you appreciate the time when you are healthy yeah. and etc. So that's why you're going back to the main point that at the end of the day, this life is a life of test. And at the end of the day, it's not a perfect life. Our perfect life is Jannah. We ask Allah to grant us all. Jannah, I, I, I have to go now because anyway, but it was a pleasure seeing you. Allah is khair. Allah is khair. Allah is khair.